Greetings in the name of Jesus to all the viewers of JCDM Global Guntagal AP India. We invite you to watch the Resurrection Day program on Pradhana HD channel. I am that he lives and was death and I and I am alive. Pradhan Ches Kundam, Prema Galigina Tandri, Krupa Galadeva, Daigalanaina, JCDM Adwaremulo, Pradhana TV HD Dwara, Mikuma Reverend Stephen Beninagaru, Yesukuru Suvari. తండ్రి చనిపోయి మూడో దిన తిరిగి లేచిన సందర్భాలను మీ కుమారుడు విరుస్తుండగా తోడుగా ఉండండి ప్రపంచములోనైనా ఏ సమాధి ఖాళీగా ఉన్నది కేవలం యేసుక్రీస్తు వారి సమాధి మాత్రమే చనిపోయి తిరిగి లేచిన మహానుభావుడునైనా ఆయన గురించి ప్రకటిస్తుండగా తోడుగా ఉండండి మహాజ్ఞానపు సంగతులు మీ కుమారు ధర వినిపించమని ప్రార్థనపడుతూ ఈ ప్రార్థన మీ కుమారుడు మా రక్షకుడైన యేసుక్రీస్తులో ప్రార్థన చున్నాము తండ్రి ఆమెన్ ఇన్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ జీజస్ క్రైస్ట్ ఐ ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ JCDM Global Guntikal AP India invite all the friends to view our program on Prathana TV HD. It's a great joy after a long time to come on this channel. Give glory to God. Thank the JCDM team members. Thank Reverend H. Suresh Garu. Heartfelt thanks to especially director of media solomon raj joseph benen and also thank john benen and all the team members and thank all the dear friends those who are praying for us those who are standing with us in this jcdm ministry for more than 3 decades our television programs media is there for last 28 to 29 years on different channels like Germany and uh, Shubhavartha, uh, New Vision, Rofe, Pratana TV and so many other channels we have been as a guest preachers and local preachers. All glory to God. This JCDM ministry has been started by the grace of God and prayers of many saints through founder late Reverend Joseph S. Benin and he was our co-founder and me too Stephen Benin, John Benin and now our uh, beloved nephew Salman Raj has joined as a media director for this ministry. It is by God's grace to speed in up the ministry and to be on time because nowadays many people in love with medias and with time, we have been on medias because many people far and wide, they are viewing and many have testified that uh, they have been saved, healed, blessed, encouraged, growing in the Lord and they accept Jesus as a Lord over their life and they are glorifying the name of Jesus. All glory to God. Let Jesus increase and we decree. He increase, we decree with all humility. I thank my dear friends, everyone who are standing with us in India and abroad. This ministry has reached nearing half of the continents through medias and through face to face. Glory to God. God gave the privilege for JCDM Global to share the word of God even in the World Conference in 2005-2007, even in the Gulf countries, in other nations. All glory to God. Thank God. Yes, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, the name of India is in the Bible that is in the book of Esther, twice it has been written. Yes, dear friends. And the history has been divided into two parts. BC, before Christ, and AD, after the death of Christ. Yes, whatever has happened, that is known as before Christ. That means, everybody knows Christ. And, after the death of Christ, it has been recorded 
what happened today in israel in jerusalem there is a tomb it is empty many of the tours many of the tourist many of the agents are taking thousands of people to the holy land sightseeing and all and they witness that jesus is resurrected the tomb is empty there are many tombs in the world but all tombs are closed only one and one is open that is jesus christ tomb all glory to god paul says if jesus has not risen our message is in vain our preaching is in vain oh glory to god hallelujah yes dear friends many have been preaching they had preached they are preaching they will preach till the coming of the lord yes today i have taken the passage by god's grace from the book of john the gospel 28th chapter 26 to 29 the title of the message is jesus christ lives the bible declares revelation 118 Jesus said fear not i am the first and last i am he that liveth and was dead and behold i am alive for evermore jesus is alive for evermore oh glory to god yes as we see in the book of john the gospel 28 chapter 26 to 29 verses here Jesus disciples were hiding because of the Roman empire they were scared and they were hiding in the room the bible declares the first point then came jesus the door being shut and stood in the midst and said peace unto you dear friends are you afraid because of the enemy are you afraid because you have lost your faith are you afraid because of your personal family are you afraid because of the circumstances jesus will come and he will say peace be with you when jesus was born one of the name was given to jesus prince of peace and the prince of peace he lifts his hands and he says peace unto you when he is lifting his hand he is showing his both the hands nail pierced hand he declared peace to his disciples today he is declaring peace to you peace to all the listeners on behalf of jcdm those who are listening viewing on prathana tv hd hallelujah then he said to thomas reach hither thy finger and hold my hand reach hither my hand and trust into my side and be not faithless but believing yes when thomas heard he said unless i put my finger in his side and see his nail pierced hand i will not believe but jesus went and he showed he told thomas put your finger on my side rib where the soldier had pierced jesus side from there came blood and water his nail pierced hand he showed put your fingers see my hands and thomas when he saw that the third point he says thomas answered and said unto him my lord and my god my lord and my god he said faith that rest 
on the word of God, not on the sight. You have faith that rests on the word of God, not on the sight. Our faith is resting on the word of God, not on the sight. Dear friends, then in the fourth, uh, it's a fourth point that is from the book of John the Gospel, 28th chapter, 29th verse declares, Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me and thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen and yet believed. Yes. Saying it, Jesus, is a blessing. Blessed are those in pure in heart, they will see God. But the Bible also declares, blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. You might not have seen Jesus, but you believed you are blessed. If you have seen Jesus, to many people, Jesus had appeared in person. Like for uh, late beloved, respected DGS Dinagaran, respected D. John Ravindranath, and many men and women of God. And even to the kings, Jesus had appeared in the dream. Jesus had appeared in the vision. Jesus had appeared in apparel and proved that he is a living God. Yes. But we are blessed. Why? You are blessed. I am blessed. Why? Because blessed are they that have not seen yet believe. Yet we believe. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. Yes. Nearing 33, 34 years back, in Maharashtra, in Ahmednagar city, I was preaching in one of the church on the resurrection day, early morning. And uh, one of the pastors called Tharakant was uh, interpreting for me in Marathi. Suddenly, I heard a voice. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. And she said, I want to say something. I asked my pastor who was interpreting what had happened. Did I see, pick anything out of the way? He said, no, she want to testify. And she came and said, as the man of God was sharing the word of God, and Jesus said to the woman, Mary, she saw Jesus. And she said, my Lord, my God. She saw the resurrected Jesus in the glory in the church that was the Holy Spirit church. And I asked her, I interviewed her, how did you see? What is your experience? And when she said it, I was thrilled. Glory to God. Today, yes, many people have that privilege to see Jesus, the resurrected Jesus. But many are blessed because they believe. They believe the word of God. They believe the message. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. As you are hearing the message, suddenly you will see Jesus. As you are hearing the message, as you are seeing me, you will see Jesus also. Yes, he will visit you. He will appear to you. Dear friends, today is a day of resurrection. Today is your day. This is your day. This is your time. In those days, people preached. Through them, they were, many were saved, healed, blessed. In their time, they did it and they went on. This is our time. God has called us, given us the grace to spread the good news. One of the good news is Jesus is risen. Yes, this is a good news. Jesus is risen. In many of the holy books, it has been said that Jesus is risen. When they see the revelation, they say, really, Jesus is risen. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. The good news of resurrection of Jesus is reaching ends of the earth. 
he said when the good news is preached till the end of the world then the coming of the lord will be there yes thank god for this modern technology we salute this media works that is spreading the good news of resurrection of jesus christ with all humility i thank god i appreciate the work of the holy spirit the spirit of jesus is a spirit of prophecy father loves you father had given his son to die on your behalf and my behalf will he not give other things surely he will give jesus died jesus suffered on behalf of us on the cross died buried resurrected and he is sitting at the right hand of the father and interceding for us and he is praying for us that people should accept jesus as a personal savior it is not the will of god that anyone should perish yes everybody should be saved hell is for the devil heaven is for god's people yes that's why many of the missionaries many of the apostle prophet evangelists pastors teachers lay leaders worship leaders many men women of god even children are sharing the love of god that jesus is risen and now the same jesus is coming us to take us before that rapture will take place he is risen for you for me he lives he is coming to take you and me before that yes rapture is taking place let us forget our past forgive each other love each other let there be no controversial yes he didn't come to create or to start any religion he has come to create relation between the father and the son between father and us we are the sons of god yes dear friends he loves you he cares for you now this is a time to thank him to praise him to give glory to him to honor him he is a way truth and life and we also without him we cannot do anything yes he loves you he cares for you nothing is impossible for him the resurrected power of jesus is the solution for everything the resurrected jesus is the answer for everything the resurrected jesus is a hope for us hope for the church hope for the world yes are you sick he sends his word and heals you are you depressed discouraged he said fear not i love you god pours his love into our heart we may not be discouraged yes are you suffering tensed he said my peace i give unto you the resurrected jesus gives his peace to you personally in your house in your hospital as you are driving driving as you are seeing in the tv on the mobile on your laptop in different gadgets he says my peace i give i love you i care for you you are mine i have died for you i am coming to take you are you ready yes we don't know the time the date the time and the hour of the coming of the lord so let us be ready we are in the 11th hour we are in the 11th hour yes my friends yes he is the answer he is the answer any part of your body is dead he will resurrect you if you are paralyzed sitting on your bed the resurrection of jesus is coming to you and flowing in your body receive your healing i speak life into the body 
of the paralyzed people. Stand and walk in Jesus' name. Speak miracles. Those who are sitting in the hospital without hope, God is touching you. Those who are lonely, God is healing you. To the orphans, he is a father. To the widows, he is a hope and he is a master and he is a comforter and he gives justice to you. And yes, are you need of finances? He says, I will supply all your needs. Yes. To the st students, he gives wisdom. Jesus is the wisdom of God. If you are in need of job, he will open the door that no man can close it. Yes. Someone waiting for their marriage, he is the hallelujah. Yes. He is the answer. Yes. He is a matchmaker. Dear friends, dear servants of God, he is with you. Look to him. He who serves me, my father will honor you all. Servants of God, men and women of God, he will honor you. He will reward you. In time, he will give fruit of it. Keep on doing his ministry. We pray for our leaders. We pray for our country. We pray for our authorities that they should be blessed and rule the country and God be glorified. Yes, 2,000 years before Thomas had come to India, he preached about the resurrected Christ. Even the kings were saved through his preaching of good news of Jesus Christ in the south. Today there is still a proof, a place called St. Thomas Mount. In Chennai. Glory to God. Yes, dear friends, shall we pray? Loving Heavenly Father, in the name of Christ Jesus of Nazareth, I pray a person who is with a back pain, receive your healing in Jesus' name. A partial blind be healed in Jesus' name. Deaf be healed in Jesus' name. A cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Kidney problem disappear in Jesus' name. Lame walk in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Spondylitis be healed in Jesus' name. Financial breakthrough for the people suffering from finances. Those who are waiting for, hallelujah, financial breakthrough, receive your financial breakthrough. Those who are waiting for their marriages, uh, we speak miracles and right partner for you. Those who are in depths, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Prosperity for you. Hallelujah. Those who are traveling. Hallelujah. Safe journey for you. Hallelujah. Those who are in losses. God will help you to prosper. There is a hope for you. Uh, every hallelujah. Dead part of your personal, family, ministry, job, business be resurrected in Jesus Christ. Uh, let hallelujah. Peace into your personal. Peace into your family. Peace into your ministry. We speak peace into your business. Peace upon your family. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare miracles. If some problem is there, keep one hand on your chest and one hand raised to Jesus. By faith, receive your supernatural miracle. Hallelujah. Through the resurrected Jesus Christ. We release the glory of God. We release peace, release healing, release miracle, release deliverance, decree and declare miracles. And we say, thank you, Holy Spirit. And we say, it is done. Receive your miracle with your faith. Thank you, Lord. God, Holy Spirit, glorify the name of Jesus and bring honor to the name of the Father. Let Father be honored, Jesus be glorified, and Holy Spirit, you be appreciated. We humble ourselves, Jesus increase, we decree. Hallelujah. God bless you all, dear friends. Yes, write to us, contact us, jcdm 9550819322. Big God bless you all. We are praying for you. Thank you for standing with us. In Jesus name, God bless you. Amen and amen.